Okay, next, the problem is solve d square y by dx square plus y is equal to cosecant x. So we have to solve this differential equation by the method of variation of parameters. So, let us see the solution. So first of all, write the given equation d square y by dx square plus y is equal to cosecant x okay and this can be written as d square y plus y is equal to cosecant x and this is also can be written as d square plus 1 into y is equal to cosecant x okay now write the auxiliary equation Auxiliary equation means we take uh, m square plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Take uh, m instead of d. So, auxiliary equation is m square plus 1 is equal to 0. Garas so, m square is equal to minus 1. m is equal to plus r minus square root of minus 1. So, plus r minus square root of minus 1 is i. Complex number, imaginary number. So, auxiliary equation is roots plus or minus i. Therefore, complementary function can be written as C1 cos x. Two roots on I got two constants. So, C1 cos x plus C2 sin x. Okay. So, this is our complementary function. So, equation is general solution. General solution. So, manam, variation of parameters and a method law. Na. So, e method law general solution at y is equal to a into cos x plus b into sin x. So, this is our general solution in this method where a and b are the functions of x. We have to calculate these values. Okay. <coughs> okay general solution y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x. So, uh, by the method of variation of parameters, we take this as general solution and we have to calculate these values a and b. Okay. Let us choose u. This function can be taken as u. u means cos x, v means sin x. Next r, r and m are given equation law on the right side on the term cosecant x. Given equation low, right side on the cosecant x. So, first of all, we have to calculate u dv by dx minus v du by dx. Mundaga, e value manam, calculate share the a formula, b formula, e value man kundundi. So, mundaga manam, calculate share the u dv by dx minus v du by dx. So, u means uh, cos x dv by dx v ni manam derivative chayali. derivative of sin x means cos x minus v v means sin x into du by dx so derivative of cos x u ni manam derivative chayali. so derivative of cos means minus sin so it become cos into cos cos square x minus into minus plus sin into sin sin square x. So, cos square x plus sin square x means we know that it is equal to 1. So, u dv by dx minus v du by dx its value is equal to 1. Now, write the formula for a. a means minus integral v r dx by u dv by dx minus v du by dx. So, this is the formula to find the value of A by the method of variation of parameters. So, minus integral V, V means sin x into R, R means cosecant x dx by u dv by dx minus v du by dx. 
and we get its value is equal to 1. So, totally this is equal to 1 and these two are reciprocals. If you do reciprocals, so you do cancel it, cosecant means 1 by sin or sin means 1 by cosecant. So, both are cancelled. Sin into cosec is equal to 1. Therefore, we get minus integral dx. So, the solution is minus integral dx means x plus c1. Okay, c1. Integration constant. Okay, continuation. Next, find the value of b. So, b, the formula for b is integral u r dx by u dv by dx minus v du by dx. So, this is the formula to find the value of b. So, integral u, u means cos x into r, r means cosecant x dx by and this value is equal to 1. Already we get it is equal to 1. Therefore, b is equal to integral cos x into cosecant x. Cosecant x means 1 by sin. So, cos into 1 by sin means it become cot x dx. Cosecant x and 1 by sin. So, cos into 1 by sin that means cos by sin which is equal to cot x. And integral cot x means log mod sin x plus c2. This time we take c2 is the integration constant log mod sin x plus c2. Now, substitute these values a and b in this equation. Therefore, general solution gs stands for general solution y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x. Substitute the values of a and b here. We get the final solution. a means minus x plus c1 into cos x plus b means log sin x plus c2 log mod sin x plus c2 into sin x. Therefore, finally it is equal to y is equal to c1 cos x c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. First of all write complementary function c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and remaining is minus x into cos x minus x into cos x plus sin x into log sin x sin x into log mod sin x. So, that is the general solution for the given differential equation.